Well, hi, Microhunter here again. Well, I would like to do now a short follow-up video to the video that I released a few days ago where I showed you how to extract DNA and how to put the DNA under the microscope. I was able to improve the method a little bit to make it even easier for you to see the DNA. And that's the first thing. And the second thing is that I want to say thank you to Thomas who actually sent me uh, some pictures of his own DNA that he was able to make uh, using the method that I presented and I would like to also encourage you if uh, you also would like to make some pictures then please and share them with the rest of the microscopy community you can send them to me there's an email address here and then I will include uh, those pictures in an upcoming video I think that's actually quite a nice idea actually somebody else already suggested this to me one of my viewers that it would be nice uh, if uh, there are certain tasks or activities um, and then you try to do those tasks and then you send uh, the pictures to me and I can then basically share them uh, further with the rest of the microscopy community and I would say maybe the first task is, is try to extract your own DNA using the method that I showed you um, and then uh, if you want to and then I would uh, be very uh, nice if uh, we could also then share your pictures. Well, uh, what are some of these imp these improvements? Um, as I mentioned already in the previous video, it's kind of difficult to put the DNA on the slide because the DNA and the cells and all of these things, they kind of stick together. Uh, they clump together. So it becomes very difficult to see the individual fibers. I assume these could be chromatin fibers. So it's not uh, yeah, just, uh, it's super coiled DNA. This means it's probably not uh, individual DNA uh, molecules because that would be actually a Way too thin to be seen um, but uh, to get them separately uh, more or less separate on a microscope slide I recommend the following that you do not uh, go in with a stick or with uh, some tweezers to pull out the, the DNA but that actually you uh, take the whole slide and dip the whole slide into the alcohol and then carefully um, pull out the DNA um, from the alcohol using the slide um, I tried that um, and as a matter of fact it was much uh, I saw much many more uh, uh, DNA uh, uh, molecules this way and the second uh, recommendation that I have is, is that you um, allow the alcohol to evaporate and simply put the dry slide without a cover glass directly under the microscope um, and uh, I've seen actually that this way uh, the DNA uh, molecules are more easily visible because I guess because the refractive index of the DNA and the associated cells and proteins that are sticking to the DNA, of course. The refractive index seems to be more different um, to the surrounding ear and therefore it's more easily visible. So these are the, actually the two recommendations that I have. Dip the slide in carefully into the, um, the precipitated DNA, into the alcohol layer um, and using a tweezer carefully transfer the DNA onto the slide while the slide is in the alcohol and then carefully lift it out and, and then allow it to dry and then um, yeah directly observe it under the microscope I got it I got much um, more better results this way so and I would like to share now uh, some pictures um, of one of my viewers Thomas uh, with you who was the first one to actually uh, send me some pictures of uh, the uh, DNA extraction and uh, here are his pictures and as you can see um, yeah it seems to work uh, the method seems to be reproducible producible um, this actually makes me quite happy so it's not some kind of an artifact that are produced here but evidently um, there it is indeed possible to get the DNA out this way and uh, yeah I encourage you also to try to try out this method and then um, also send me pictures as I already mentioned well this is almost it um, I do have a fundraiser for those of you who are new to the channel um, and uh, there is the link below I'm saving for a microscope a very good one and a not so cheap one I have to admit uh, because I would like uh, to use this microscope uh, to build up an image uh, gallery which uh, then can be used uh, by everyone so the pictures can then be used by everyone and uh, I would also like to ask you if you want to and if you're interested please do subscribe and I wish you all the best happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time bye bye